What's up YouTube, welcome back to TV Box Top Reviews and for today's review, I have the release of the new H96 Max X3, Amlogic S905 X3 Android TV Box. In 2019, we have seen the developers of H96 release a number of TV boxes in the budget category and some of them failed to make a good impact among the TV box enthusiasts. So for 2020, they are at it again, this time with the release of this new X3 model. So stay tuned, a full review is up next. Welcome back. Let's take a look at the box. There are no specs printed anywhere with the exception of this that says it's a 4GB, 128GB model. And with that said, let's see what's inside. In the box, you have the usual stuff. You have the TV box itself, one infrared remote, one HDMI cable, a 5 volts 2 amps DC power adapter, and your user's manual. Let's now take a look at its design and its input-output peripherals. The body is made entirely of plastic with glossy surfaces and the H96 Max logo printed to the top. To the side, starting from the left, you have one micro SD card reader, one DC power input, one optical audio SPDIF port, one audio video port, one HDMI port, one Ethernet LAN port, one USB 2.0 port and one USB 3.0 port. If you spin further to the front, you have an LED clock display and below the box, you have lots of ventilation holes. I will now connect this to my 4K TV and capture card and continue. I've successfully connected the box and upon booting up for the first time, you are greeted with an H96 Max boot up animation. Then you are presented with a quick setup wizard. Once you've completed the wizard, you are then taken directly to the launcher. So here we are at the launcher, and it's the same launcher from their recent models with these large main icons that cannot be changed and a shortcuts bar at the bottom. This launcher does not have a navigation bar, nor does it have a status bar for easy navigating with mouse pointers, and it features a one-click memory cleanup button for killing apps running in the background and freeing up system resources. The main features of this firmware include under Droid settings, you have 4K display resolution up to 2160p at 30Hz only, so take note of this. There is supposed to be the option to select 60Hz or higher. Dolby Vision, with the option to set the priority between video and graphics. You get HDR settings. Screen Position or Zoom settings. Audio settings with the option to set the digital audio output format. Options to set the behavior of the power button. Picture display and custom settings. And the HDMI CEC control options. Under device preferences, you have your core system settings, and under song settings, you have your Dolby Atmos and DTS audio options. In the apps section, they have pre-installed the following, the AirScreen app, App Installer, Chrome Browser, ES File Explorer, a second file browser, Firefox Browser, KDMC which is Kodi Media Player, Miracast, Movie Player, Netflix, the Google Play Store, Amazon Prime Video, VLC Player, and YouTube. I will now install some additional apps needed to complete my review and continue. To begin this segment, I will first check to see if the box is rooted. The root checker app shows that the box is rooted, running on Android 9 operating system. This is great news for apps that require root access to work, 
And for those apps that require your box not to be rooted, you can use the Super User app to disable root access for those individual apps. It works as a custom root feature. I now show its DRM information. It shows that the H96 Max X3 has Google Widevine Level 3 and no HDCP protection. This means that premium streaming services such as Netflix and Amazon Prime Video will only show in basic 480p quality. Let's now take a look at its system and hardware information. The manufacturer of this box is Amlogic and the model is the H96 Max X3. It comes with 4GB of DDR3 RAM and 120GB of internal storage from which this is the remainder after the Android installation and all the apps installed. The Bluetooth version is 4.0, indicated by the 4 Plus, and I will connect the gamepad to this later in the video. The CPU is a quad-core ARM Cortex-A55 running up to 1.9GHz in 32-bit mode. The CPU is the Amlogic S905X3 and is configured with 32-bit ABIs, allowing it to only run 32-bit application. The display is powered by the Mali G31 graphics processor with a refresh rate of only 30Hz and OpenGL ES version 3.2 which is really good for gaming. On the network, it shows that the box has dual band 2.4 and 5GHz Wi-Fi support. On the Android information, it shows that the box is running on Android 9 operating system and it also shows that the box is rooted. On the thermal information, it shows that the box is running between 40 and 60 degrees Celsius on the normal room temperature and I will monitor to see how high it increases during 3D gaming. The box comes with codecs for playing 4K videos and I will test its Dolby features during this video. And that's it for system and hardware information and let's see how it does in the benchmark segment and where it fits on the rankings chart. First, I have the results of the RAM copy speed and the internal storage read and write speeds. The H96 Max X3 has a RAM copy speed of 3265 megabytes per second. The internal storage has a read speed of 42 megabytes per second and a write speed of 33. The RAM copy speed is consistent with similar X3 models, however, the internal storage results are below average. Next, I have the results of the Wi Fi and LAN speed test. Due to the COVID-19 situation, my local internet provider was kind enough to increase my bandwidth temporarily to 250 megabits per second for no additional cost. And from these results, it shows that the H96 Max X3 has maximum download and upload speeds on the 5 GHz Wi-Fi band and on the LAN port. The 2.4 GHz band fell below by 80% in reference to this new bandwidth. This also shows that the LAN port is a gigabit LAN port. I now have the results of the Antutu benchmark. For whatever reason, Antutu benchmark version 8 does not work on this box. The only version that produces results is version 7. And the results show that the H96 Max X3 got a score of 64,299. This score will not be a proper comparison but gives a good indication of where it should be placed on the chart. The Geekbench 4 CPU benchmark failed to produce any results as the app kept crashing before it could produce a score. The final benchmark is the iStorm Extreme and the Slingshot GPU Graphics benchmark. The H96 Max X3 got a score of 5415 in the iStorm Extreme and 515 in the Slingshot test. These scores should perform well in some Android games which I will try in a moment, but before I proceed, let's see where it placed on the rankings chart. So after updating the scores, the H96 Max X3 placed at position number 12 in reference to Antutu scores, which is average for this box given that it would have ranked better if it had produced an Antutu version 8 score. You can find this chart on my website in full spreadsheet format where you can interact with it and compare various scores. See the link in the description area below this video. To begin this segment. I will perform a test to see if alternative launchers and live wallpapers work on this box. I installed the ADW Launcher 2 alternative launcher along with a live wallpaper and they both work on this box with all features working such as long click menu pop-ups and drag and drop shortcut features. Next, I installed a screen rotation app and I'm happy to report that rotating the screen to portrait mode works on this box.
I now show its entertainment features. The X3 comes pre-installed with Netflix and it works out of the box. You can't install or upgrade it directly off of the Google Play Store. You have to sideload it using an alternative APK App Store. You can, however, install Amazon Prime Video off of the Play Store directly, but keep in mind, both Netflix and Amazon Prime Video plays in basic 480p quality due to limited DRM support. The box comes with the Android TV version of YouTube pre-installed, which has become standard on most TV boxes. It plays up to 4K quality, and I advise that you disable the text-to-speech app to disable that annoying Google Assistant feature. I will now play some 4K videos in HDR 10-bit format and with Dolby and DTS Audio decoding. And only a win for Barca would be enough because it would give them the same number of points as Atletico. But the head-to-head -head goal difference is what counts in the case of a tie on points. The mosaic of the Camp Nou and the Barca. The video is played okay, even the difficult jellyfish video at 400 megabits per second bitrate. I will now test for Dolby Atmos, Dolby True HD, DTS Audio, and High Res Audio. Front right, center, back left, back right.
Jesus. Welcome to the inside of your head. this demonstration I got Dolby and DTS surround sound audio. There were formats that failed to play during this test and those were the high res audio and Dolby True HD. I will now perform a similar test, this time using the optical audio port. Front right, center, back left, back right. Executioners, judges. The results were the same, and the same two formats also failed this test. And now, I play some Android games and test for gamepad key mapping capability.
So the games played really well, the graphics was of a high quality and key mapping apps worked without issues. In summary, H96 has finally delivered a TV box that deserves a seat at the table and I'm really impressed with this model's performance especially in 4K video playback and 3D gaming. I like that it has 120 gigs of internal storage and the CPU is clocked at 1.9GHz. The drawbacks of this box include the lack of a stock navigation bar 